Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor. In this week's blog entry, I'm after my favourite species, the perch, and I'm fishing one of the local canals with any sort of species, any venue, watercraft is important. So for example, if you've got a 100 metre stretch of canal and there are a thousand fish in there, they won't be spread out evenly. You won't have a hundred fish every 10 metres. I think I've got my maths right. I'm doing it off the top of my head. But you know what I'm saying. They won't be spread out. The fish will be concentrated, especially once winter comes. So what you do is you have to look for features. So I went for a walk along a particular stretch that has four features, which for me are very important as far as perch location is concerned. First of all, stone structures, well locks, lots of those on the canal network, but there could be bridges, perhaps old abandoned stone structures, but what you've got is brickwork that not only extends above the water and gives shelter and cover, but also right the way down to the bed as well. And that will not only provide the shelter from above, the security that the fish like, especially when the water's clear, but also as the brickwork goes beneath the water, algae will grow on it. And then of course that will attract crustaceans and little creatures that the fish will feed on. So for me, a lock or some other form of brickwork is a definite feature to try when you're after perch. Secondly, overhanging trees. And most of these, of course, well, all of them really are on the far bank. So if you've got those on a stretch that is perhaps barren for 90% of its duration of its length, and then you've got this cluster of overhanging trees, that's a feature that's somewhere to head for and especially now as the leaves start to come the trees start to spread out they will be definite holding areas for perch also as well of course in the winter even with just a few branches hanging over they'll definitely be the place to head for as far as fish are concerned and then you've got reed beds now in the summer they'll be in full bloom they'll be there very obvious but even in the winter when they die back they're still places where small fish will hang out again a source of food but also perch especially once they get to a certain size they love to ambush the smaller fish so that's another place to head for and then finally as far as this video is concerned and the stretch that I took a walk along, you've got moored boats. Now I'm not referring necessarily to the ones that are literally here today and gone tomorrow. I'm talking about the ones that are there long term. And again, especially in the winter, canals very clear, the fish will seek out cover above their heads and what better place to hide under than a boat. Now obviously if that boat is lived in you need to respect the people that are on there but many are just moored up especially during the winter and you can fish reasonably close to them. So four features to bear in mind when we're on canals, when we're after perch, although of course other fish can also be taken into consideration as well. But I'm thinking specifically of perch. And if you read the written blog, you'll see that I, I did quite well this week and I was fishing one of those features. So some of the photos that you've seen on the screen while I've been talking, they have all come from this week's sessions on the canal. Check out the blog. You can find the link in the comments box here on YouTube and as always out and about yourself tight lines and I'll see you next week.